While many consider having a life partner a blessing, being single and independent has its own advantages. So let's dive into part two of Hallmark actors who never married. Starting off with our super talented Bailey Madison, who already became a pro at the age of 12. She's not only a great actress who can do both drama and comedy effortlessly, but she's also a philanthropist. Such inherent charm, sharp intelligence, and a vibrant personality. I'm sure she's just a joy to be around. Madison has not been previously married, but who cares about her love life when she's already accomplished so much at a young age? She's had over 50 appearances in film and TV productions, worked in five music videos, and rose to fame way before she even started dating. She had previous relationships with Zachary Gordon, Emery Kelly, and Alex Lang, which were all over the place, but now it's all about Blake and their adventures together. At such a young age, she even landed a starring role in Guillermo del Toro's thriller, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, recommended by none other than Natalie Portman. Impressive, right? She played a kid being haunted by demons like that's even hard. Back in 2009, Little Madison nailed it in a movie called Brothers and got a Critics' Choice Movie Award nomination when she was still in freaking elementary school. Bailey Madison talks about Parental Guidance, a movie that released in 2012. You gave them cake? You lied to me! Yogurt is not like ice cream! Like, it, it's fun to be able to look back and be like, people can relate to that, parents can relate to that. She appeared in the magical show Good Witch in 2022. And did I mention this show is based on one of the network's most successful original movie franchises? That's right, it's a big deal. Currently, she is starring in a TV series, Pretty Little Liars Summer School, and will be in an upcoming film, The Pool. She's just so driven and talented that she can balance filming major movies and helping those less fortunate. I mean, she's even won awards for her philanthropic efforts, like the Variety Power of Youth Awards. What a superstar. And on top of that, she's also spending her precious time raising awareness for kids with cancer by supporting Alex's lemonade stand. And get this, she's so good at it that they even named her their national youth spokesperson. Impressive, huh? Bailey Madison's dating history is long and sweet, and she is open about her romantic life. Her dating life first became public in 2013, when she was rumored to be dating co-star Gordon. After two years, Madison began dating singer Kelly. This time, the relationship was not a mystery because the two were upfront about their romance. Madison even called it her first romance. Unfortunately, their time together was short-lived as the pair split after a few months, purportedly on a bad note. She quickly moved on and began dating Langa a year later, which was her second public romantic relationship. Bailey was totally in this super long-term relationship with Alex Lang. They apparently started dating back in 2016 and Lang was head over heels for Bailey from day one constantly telling her he loved her until she finally said it back six months later. But after two years of being together, they called it quits around the end of 2018 or early 2019. And just like that, Bailey moved on to Blake. Who knows what happened, but hey, that's showbiz for ya. Since 2019, Bailey's heart has been totally owned by Blake Richardson, that fun-loving guy who's part of that British pop band called The New Hope Club. Madison made it pretty damn clear with her tweet and photos, and now they're always going on these cutesy adventures together. They even went to see Manchester United play and had a blast, which is so thrilling, right? Oh, and did I mention he's got a considerable fan base of over 700k followers on Instagram? Madison's just one of those fans. Lucky her. Next up, we have Mr. Evan Roderick. He's just a real prodigy, isn't he? He's so talented. He can capture the nostalgia of another time on screen and sing his heart out on stage. Impressive, right? Apparently, he ditched a killer career in the British Columbia Hockey League, BCHL, to pursue his real calling in life. And guess what? He's already been crushing it in the biz, getting all sorts of attention for his talent with his roles in Lifetime's Secrets of a Marine's Wife or V.C. Andrew's Landry Family, or maybe Netflix's Spinning Out, where he played the dreamy bad boy skater opposite Kaya Scotelario and January Jones. He has also starred in Hallmark movies like Autumn in the City and A Tale of Two Christmases. In the movie Autumn in the City, we truly can't get enough of Amy T. Garden and Evan Roderick's romantic relationship. Here's a sneak peek. There's nothing wrong with getting lost along the way. It's how you stumble upon the best things. This is even better than I imagined. But that's not it. He's going to be in a new series called Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries, something new. So maybe that will finally be his big break. And did I mention he's a self-taught musician? He's so talented, he can act and sing at the same time. Wow, what a guy. Well, 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 looks like Evan Roderick is a real catch, ladies. As of 2023, he's neither married nor single. 
He is currently in a beautiful relationship with Dion Karras. Dion Karras recently shared a video of Roderick in her Instagram story. They seem to be very happy in their relationship, keeping it private and, at the same time, giving us updates on social media. And guess what? He was previously in a relationship with his girlfriend, Lauren. They started dating in 2017 and even celebrated their two-year anniversary with a picture of them sipping wine and smooching. How adorable. And get this, Lauren even wished him a happy 24th birthday on Instagram, showing the world how much of a great fan she is. Next up, we have Mary Louise Parker. What a superstar. She was a drama major and had been killing it on Broadway since the 90s. She even got nominated for a Tony Award for Prelude to a Kiss and won one for proof because apparently she's just a genius. She has has appeared in Hallmark movies like Cupid and Kate and the drama Christmas in Conway. But Parker is quite the mystery woman regarding her love life. As far as anyone knows, she's not married to anyone and isn't seeing anyone special. But good luck trying to stalk her on social media because she doesn't have any. Yep, you heard me right. No Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok for this elusive lady. So, unless you're a private detective, it's going to be a real challenge to find out if she's secretly booed up with someone. But for now, let's assume she's flying solo, shall we? She was dating a guy she met in 2009, Charlie Mars, who was a decade younger than her. She even appeared in one of his music videos called Listen to the Dark Side. I mean, talk about true love, right? If you wanna come over, come over and get high, we can listen to the dark side of the moon. But now it looks like they're not together anymore, at least according to his Instagram, and that's not even half of it. Mary also dated her co-star from Weeds, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, back in 2006. They broke up the following year, but decided to give it another go in 2008 by getting engaged. It sounds like they were all set to tie the knot, but surprise, it didn't work out, and they split up again. Her relationship with Billy Crudup was a real doozy. Pretty much everyone knows about it. They were together for eight years, but when she was pregnant with their kid, Billy left her for a younger woman, Claire Danes. Nice one, Billy. But before her relationship with him, Mary was linked to Adam Duritz, Pat Minokia, and co-star Timothy Hutton. She's really got a type, huh? Mary's got two kids now, William Atticus Parker and Carolyn Aberash Parker. William is the one she was pregnant with when Billy took off with Claire, and Carolyn is the one she adopted from Africa in 2007. So yeah, that's Mary's love life in a nutshell. Moving on to the next, have you heard of Emily Kinney? She's the prettiest, most talented, and bubbly actress out there. Like, seriously, she can act, sing, and write songs. You might have seen her in big-time movies and TV shows like The Walking Dead, The Flash, and Concussion. Oh, and let's not forget her crowning achievement, starring in a Hallmark movie called Love on the Sidelines. I'm your new personal assistant. Like a new job. Do you know anything about football? Let's just say I'm learning. Face me! Oh, face me! But what really gets people talking is her dating life. She never got married to anyone. Apparently, she's got a thing for dating her co-stars. Who has she dated, you ask? Okay, so Kinney was with Paul McDonald, a season 10 finalist from American Idol. They started dating back in 2017 and apparently called it quits after two years. Their relationship supposedly started through some music business friend named Dan Spears, but they never confirmed it. They kept it all hush, never talking about it in interviews like it was some top secret classified information. As for why they broke up, it's a big mystery. She was also rumored to date her co-star in The Walking Dead, Norman Reedus, Fans were totally shipping them, saying they had crazy chemistry even off-camera, like Norman went to one of her concerts. But wait, it turns out it was all just a rumor. Norman shut down the gossip and said they were just really good friends. So we have another musician who apparently dated Kinney, and this time it's some DJ and record producer named Matthew Coma. But then, Kinney's brief fling with Michael Zagan, who you might know from his time on The Rescue Late Show, and me with David Letterman, sprung up. They first got together in 2012, both on The Walking Dead. Too bad we don't have many pics of them together, just one stiff shot from a Walking Dead event. And of course, neither of them ever confirmed the relationship, because why be upfront about anything in the media, right? They fizzled out after less than a year, but nobody knows why. Currently, she's dating this mysterious guy with the oh-so-intriguing Instagram username at Nomadic01. That's all we know about him, except for a few adorable pictures of them together. Here's a photo posted on Valentine's Day by Kinney. Next, we have Jessica Lowndes, who fooled her fans into thinking she was engaged to John Lovitz. Classic prank, right? This pretty and talented actress who played the drug-addicted pregnant teen actress and singer Adriana on 90,210 inches quickly became the talk of the town. And let's not forget her scream-worthy performance in Abattoir. You have no idea what this town 
found those prongs. Please. And as if that wasn't enough, Lowndes also starred in Hallmark Channel's Christmas at Pemberley Manor and Yes, I Do as part of their June Weddings lineup in 2018. Jessica Lowndes has had so many boyfriends, yet she still hasn't found Mr. Wright to put a ring on it. This actress got quite the collection of exes. It all started with her co-star from the good old 90210 days, Adam Gregory, back in 2008. But wait, there's more. Aaron, the famous Breaking Bad guy, came along in 2009, but that only lasted a hot minute. Then there was Danny in 2011, and apparently that didn't work out either. Tom Evans fell for her in a juice bar of all places in 2013, but long distance wasn't their thing, and she had a fling with Jeremy Bloom, the athlete, in 2012. After a year, they had to call it quits because of the pesky issue of living on opposite coasts. And as if that wasn't enough, she even dated Jake Gyllenhaal, actor and producer, in 2011, right after he broke up with Taylor Swift. Jessica Lowndes just signed a deal with GAC Media. Does that mean she's banned from making any more of those Hallmark or Lifetime movies? Hold on, it turns out that, according to Heavy, she signed a non-exclusive deal, which means she can still star in that rom-com on Hallmark and Lifetime, as well as on Netflix, Peacock, or any other network. There are absolutely no restrictions on her only doing movies for GAC Media. How lucky for her! Do you know any other singles in the acting world who haven't yet found their perfect match? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, everyone.